Hello, 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 it's me, Kerbinaut here, and today we're going to be doing another episode of the Olympus Space Station. That's the space station made by you, the viewers, submitted over the forums, and can include absolutely anything. Your choice of what to do, I'm no mods, sorry, not no mods, no limit on mods, uh, you can do whatever you want. And today we're going to be taking a kind of module, I wouldn't call it a module, I mean it's a, almost a space station in its own right. It is huge, this thing is submitted by OMG Alof, um, and it's, it's, it's yeah, massive, it's absolutely huge. It weighs in it at a massive 143 tons. It's a huge module, guys. Um, and to solve this problem of getting into space, I had to design a new launcher for this thing, which was really fun actually, um, because it, it, all that challenging um, was, was, was quite exciting and awesome, but with new designs come new problems, and in just a second you will see this new problem that I had to come and face. Look, look what happens here, I, something goes weird and it spins out of control and then I break KSP. I, I I don't know what happened. I just it exploded and then it was massive and I could see it on map view. And this isn't good. If if you know if you've tried to play KSP before, it's it's not good. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I do it again and I launch it up and I get it nice and close to the space station as we are here. So, let's do this now. We've got that we're selecting that as our t as our control from here, my jiggy, my thingy, and I've tried using um, uh, the RCS to get it this close, but it is a pain in the backside. This thing is absolutely huge, and it will it does not like um, to to do these things. So I decide to let Mech Jeb do it for me because you know it's Mech Jeb, and you know it's yeah. I haven't used the docking autopilot quite that much actually. I um. I really haven't. I, I I don't use docking autopilot uh, very often. I like to dock by myself, but the problem with docking this thing uh, myself is just that it's too big. It's just too big. It's got too much inertia. It takes too much force to turn it, and by the time you know you've done something wrong, it's too late. And so that's where Mech Jeb comes in. It is very precise, um, although it does waste a ton of RCS, but that's fine. I have decided that I would put a heck of a lot of RCS on there, so we're all good. So let me just tell you a little more about this uh, module then. Um, the the mod that is on this mod jewel um, is called the Large Structural Components. There's a link in the description if you wish to use this mod. It contains not only the spherical tank that you see right there, but all the rest of this stuff, and even a few more things. And I believe it's been updated since uh, I received this uh, module in the forums. Um, it's it's uh, this module uh, has. Um, two really powerful batteries, it's got a power plant, it's got three senior docking ports, it's got three normal docking ports, and it's got that really nice, lovely big spherical tank there, and I, I never thought I would see the day when I would like spherical tanks, but it does that not look beautiful. It, in my opinion, that does look very nice, although I can see some rather immature uses for it. Nonetheless, we're going to um, continue with this thing. So I dock it here, but I figure, no, I don't like it. Something's a bit off. And what is off is that spherical tank is um, facing in the way. And I think that spherical tank would look a lot better facing out the way. And I just I just feel this is docked wrong. We need to turn it around and dock it the other way on. So to do this, I designed this thing, which is basically another bunch of RCS and docking adapter. Why do we need the docking adapter? Because the side that we want to dock the, uh, the the module onto has a large docking port, a senior docking port, whereas the thing we want to dock it to is a normal docking port, and so we need an adapter. So what I've just done is I've taken the senior and then going down to the adapter and then down to just the normal docking port, and that works absolutely fine. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to launch this up and we've got tons of RCS, we've got tons of this stuff, it's going to be fine, it's going to be brilliant. So we're launching it up, um, 
and we just get it up there. The problem with this is I didn't time it very well. I, I was trying to get right on the station, but unfortunately I launched it too late. And so what I'm having to do is go into a lower orbit and uh, catch up with it. And so we have to do all this waiting. It's very boring. Just waiting waiting going round and so I just go into this view just you know have a little peek around but no we have to continue to wait and so on and so forth until we get a close encounter and I just tweak it with the RCS by this time I have of course ejected that lower um, um, fuel thing and there we go there's the lag right there that wasn't some kind of weird thing on YouTube no that was indeed all the lag as we loaded up the space station and it is actually getting a bit laggy now that, that we've got all those modules. It's not incredibly laggy, it's still handleable. You can still handle it, it's fine. Um, but the problem is that we're just getting so much in there now that it's getting, you know, the FPS is going down a wee bit. But it's fine, we are still coping. I think we can probably put another module or two on there before we have to end the series. So, right now, it's getting a bit dark. Um, you probably can't see anything, and so I've taken the liberty of brightening it up. You'll see right there. It's getting really bright. I'm sorry about all the brightness, but at least you can now see what I'm doing. Um, you can see here that there's the large docking adapter, um, sorry, the large docking port, and we're going to come in with our adapter. Um, initially, I tried to do this on my own, but... It's weird, I misjudged the distance and hit it for some reason, and so I give up and use the docking mech jeb thing because I've found after doing that first time it was quite easy and I was just like, let's just let it do it again. That was quite fun watching it do it for me. And so I do that. I'm very lazy, I'm a lazy person, but you know, there we go. We're, we're coming in, we're docking. That docks absolutely fine. So uh, we pump the RCS in because that's why we had the RCS unit. We wanted to take the RCS from there into this so that we have enough to make the turning around. Because you saw from that uh, mech jeb docking, it does take a lot of RCS, and we used a lot of it doing that initial docking, which is a shame, but. Um, we're going to do another dock. Now, me, no, docking, this is my docking-ness. So, we come along, ta 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 and I knock off that thing. Whoops. Nonetheless, we shall continue. We we go forward, and I'm in chase view here. I've, I, honestly, I don't usually use chase view a lot. I, I just like to go normal view, but I found chase view is actually quite handy for docking, um, or at least making things look cool. Um, Anyway, so I switch around, I, I say control from here, from the other docking port, and we uh, go in for this docking, and um, yeah, there's nothing much to this, this is just normal docking, um, a lot of rearranging here, and I decided to put it up here because this is kind of where we wanted to put all of our stuff, wasn't it? This was the docking um, area, the dry dock. We're trying to put everything there. By the way, we need to come up with a... Um, uh, what's a Majiggy? Uh, a single stage to orbit SSTO. But anyway, that's not for now. For right now, I have to talk about how crap I am at this stuff. No, that's really getting bright now. But don't worry, it'll get dark. And... See, this is what happens when you try to make MechJeb do something that it can't do. Um, it spins around, tries to figure out what it's doing, and it's like, please turn me around, oh, no, 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 and it crashes into the space station and all hell breaks loose. And so I decide to load from the quick save that I took just before I undocked, because I have a better idea of how to do this. Instead of letting MechJeb take it all the way, I decide to back off, turn off RCS, and then just spin it with the gyros, and you'll see just right there I've turned down the brightness um, a little. So yeah, I'm just using the gyros now to spin it around. That means I, I there's no effect on my um, like my v velocity, my vectors. I'm not changing direction. I'm just spinning the craft around, and that allows me to turn it without well changing direction and all that. Because uh, the RCS is not centered at the moment. I made the RCS so that it kind of would be centered when the tank is empty. Because I w I thought that I would use all that fuel. Um, getting up, but surprisingly I didn't. Um, I could, I got up with the launcher and it was fine. So here we go, coming in with MechJet, and you see it's using a lot of RCS. So I figure, well, we're gonna cut this out. I can't be bothered with this. Let's just, just uh, hurry up. 
So I hurry it up and let Mechjeb take me in the rest of the way. And all is well and we dock very nicely. And there we go. That is that module docked on. It, it's basically the same size as the rest of the craft put together. And here we go, taking uh, little Jebediah Kermit out. And yes, this is actually Jebediah Kermit. I'm not just, he's not imposter. He is indeed Jebediah Kermit, which is quite handy. And I take a couple of screenshots here and, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm just, oh, it looks so nice. It looks so Space Station-y. Um, and I decide, well, let's make use of this. Let's make use of this. Come on, it's there. It's a habitation module. It is there to be lived in. So, Jebediah, you're the first to go in here, this five-star place. And, well, there we go, folks. That's that's today's episode. That's what we've done today. We've managed to get this up. We've managed to dock it on, spin it around, do all sorts of things. We've even brought up another RCS module. So, for me, no, that's, that's, that's us. We're done. But uh, keep those modules coming in. There's a link in the description to the forums where you can submit your... Uh, modules. You can also submit them to me uh, via YouTube mail, so just stick in Kerbinot to your recipient box and, you know, I'll get it somehow by magic. The magic of the internet. Anyway, that's me for now. I will see you in the next one.